And I was like, oh my God, I'm going to be in the top. Yay. <laughs> and then they started critiquing me. I'm like, okay, I'm, no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Hey guys, it's Travis Cronin, entertainment director for Us Weekly, and you are watching Drag Us Weekly, the show where we drag the truth, the hopes, the wants, the joys out of your favorite drag queens. Today we are joined by the legend herself, Miss Stephanie Prince. Thank Good morning, you. America. <laughs> Good morning, Travis. Good morning, Travis. <laughs> Hello, good morning, all Stephanie, the anxious scream queen. Oh, God. <laughs> Do I well, scream that much? <laughs> you definitely scream that much. And I, I, as a watcher, and I think a lot of fans, really liked your dedication to the role and liked how you were playing it. When you first did it, I was like, oh, she's definitely going to be in the top. She is overacting to the extreme. I'm sure that's Thank what you, you. as well. Thank you. <laughs> as everybody, as, like, everybody thought that too, but you know. Call me delusional. I still think I should have not been in the bottom. I still think I should have been in the top. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think um, when you were up there, you're like, they wanted an overacting challenge. I am overacting. This is going to be great. And even when Amanda was like, maybe a little less, you're like, I know not me because I'm doing a great job. Yeah. <laughs> this is the funny thing is um, when, you know, Amanda saw me overreact, she told me, he's like, um, Stephanie, I really love the over exaggeration, the characterization, keep it going. And then she told everybody, not specifically to me, <laughs> she told everybody, um, maybe it's time to like, you know, change your character, tone it down a little bit. I thought, I thought I was doing great, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then they called the, um, they called the, the, what do you call that? The, um, bottoms and tops. And I was like, oh my God, I'm going to be in the top. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and then they started critiquing me. I'm like, okay, I'm no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> yes. Very that TikTok yeah. sound. Yeah, very how, that. <laughs> how did it feel when you're standing there and you're like, okay, I overacted, the performance was camp, it's what they wanted. And now you're like, oh God, oh no. Yeah. How did that feel for you on stage? Are you thinking about the lip sync song? Are you stunned? What were you feeling in that moment? Oh yeah, I was definitely like, I was just blocked off. Honestly, like after they critiqued me, I, like I just like blocked everybody off. I was just in my head the whole entire time. It's like, okay, I need to listen to the, um, the lip sync song as soon as possible. <laughs> because there's a possibility that I might be lip syncing, there was, there, you know, it, it did happen. <laughs> so um, yeah, I just blocked off everybody. I don't even know who said, who, you know, who hugged me or who, touch my hand or like told me you're gonna be fine you're gonna be great just completely blocked it off <laughs> yeah and the episode beforehand was so amazing that musical was like my favorite musical in drag race history did you did you know that it was something special when it was going on did you love it oh yes oh yeah like as soon as i listened to it i listened to it it's like this is gonna be the best rusical that has ever made yeah but watching the episode, I was like, I wouldn't say it's the best. <laughs> it, I mean, like, I, I would say it could it could have been the best. <laughs> <laughs> like, did you uh, did you live for lace and leather? Let's be real. <laughs> Yes, I lived and Lace and, Leather, <laughs> Lace and Leather was, it was good. It just wasn't as in sync or ferocious, but I think the levels made the musical so entertaining. Cause you so you're saying, fine. so you're saying Leather did great. <laughs> I'm saying Leather was amazing. Lace could use some work. <laughs> <laughs> Lip sync, tell me how you felt going into it. Tell me how you felt performing at the Lip Sync for Your Life. Mm, um, I definitely felt confident. I I was so confident by the lip sync because this is going to be sound so cliche, but like lip syncing is what I do. Performing on stage is what I do. Mm -hmm. You know, captivating the audience is what I do for a living. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm literally one of the best drag queens here in the city, in my city at least. So, yeah, definitely, like, when I was lip syncing, like, this is all about me. This is going to be about me. Only me. Because <laughs> there's no way, I'm saying this, there's no way 
another white, a, a white skinny white girl <laughs> will send me home. <laughs> but you know, it did happen. <laughs> All love to Cynthia. All love to Cynthia. I love that bitch. Me and me and her actually got along after filming. We just talked for like hours and hours and hours. And that, yeah, it was a moment. That is great to hear. And it seemed like backstage, so much of the focus is going to Eve 6000 and her journey, watching that being on the show. What what did you think about um, Eve's performance in Scream Queens? Do you think she did so much better? Do you think there's still a lot of work to do? Because that seemed to be a big you know, issue for the girls. Yeah. I, I actually, honestly, I do love Eve. Like me and her are like so close right now because I, we we have kind of the, the same personality that like when we see something fake, we call it out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and like all we do is like sometimes we like just go on the phone and like talk for like hours and just talk shit about everybody. Not the real queens. <laughs> we love them. We love my sisters. But um, during that challenge, because um, we were partners, mm-hmm. we were partner-ish. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna lie, and she can confirm this. Um, I did help her with um, with characterization, uh, okay. which actually I did on some other queens. Just like this, what you need to do this, what you need to do this, what you need to do. Mm-hmm. And then again, Eve will confirm this. She says, like, you were always in a hundred and ten, mm-hmm. and everybody was in a hundred or ninety or eighty, but you were in a hundred and ten. If I knew you were going to be in the bottom, I wish I helped you to tone it down a little bit more. So, you know, what can we do now? <laughs> Hindsight's 2020, of course. <laughs> what are you most proud about from your run on the show? You had so many amazing moments. You made such an impact. What watching it back are you the most proud of? Honestly, I can't believe I made that um, dress from paper. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that are was... Are we living? Did, did we live for that dress? Yes. Yeah. yes. Do you think I was robbed for that dress? <laughs> yes, I do. Well, you were robbed. It was really that was gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. I, you're just saying that. I no, I'm, I'm not. You're, you clearly have sewing, creating outfit expertise, mm. and that is clearly something you are very good at. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. And what will people see at a Stephanie Prince show that we didn't get to see on the show? What do you, what performances do you have going on right now? How are you living? Okay. Like right now, right yeah. now, I'm not dancing too hard mm-hmm. because um, two months and a half ago, I actually dislocated my knee. Oh no. Yeah, this is, this is honestly, this is my karma for telling Ocean you're the Yuri of the season. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did dislocate my knee, so right now I'm doing, I'm doing fine now. So I will do a performance tonight, which is gonna be like a little like choreo with backup dancers. And but right now I'm just doing a lot of burlesque numbers. Okay, you, can see, you get to see my body, Ari, <laughs> and my butt. You see, know, Stephanie's butt. <laughs> and I I do a lot of um, Nikki rap number, just walking around and look pretty. Nice. But You're serving in a, sex yeah. and serving lyrics. Mm-hmm. In, but in the future, when my as soon as the doctor said you're good to dance, you're good to do a dip again, I will put on the best drag show with the House of Prince. <laughs> and there's a possibility that we might be touring too. Nice. <laughs> Let, let's hope for that. I mean, it seems like an awkward conversation to be like, when can I dip to your doctor? And they're like, what is that? And you're like, this is actually how I make my money. Can we yeah. show <laughs> Dipping, splits, backbending. <laughs> well, tell people where they can support you, where they can find Stephanie Prince, they can buy your merch and see you guys. You know. Oh, more. yes. Yeah, buy my merch. My merch is um, ste- my website, stephaniesbutt.com. Mm-hmm. Um, you can also find the link on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you're at it, when you're at it. Um, Twitter, um, Facebook, anywhere. I'm honestly there everywhere. I'm not on TikTok, but maybe I might start doing TikToks so again. You'll never know. Yeah, a lot of your sisters <laughs> on this season have started their TikTok channels. So I know. TikTok. <laughs> I should. TikTok. <laughs> you should tick tock. Well, thank you so much, Stephanie. You really were so fun to watch. Thank you, Travis. Season, and it was a joy to talk to you today. I can't wait to see what you do so, next. So you thought I was wrong the whole entire time? Uh, I definitely thought you were robbed a few times and Lace did you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> do you think I was robbed in this episode? 
Um, so that was, that's a tricky position because I, like I said, you were so amazing. I would have put you in the top beforehand, but then hearing the judges, we wanted levels. It's what they wanted. I thought you were great, but you know, I'm not a Thank judge. You. So. Thank you. That's, that's all I want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I want to hear. I, I thought you did great. That's all the coat. I Put did. that on the merch. <laughs> I thought you did great. Put that on your merch. Thank you so much for speaking with us today. Ms. Thank Debbie. you, Travis. Mama, thank you for having her. me. Bye.